The GAN 354M is a nice, fast, smooth puzzle with quite light, probably medium strength magnets. They're not too light, but they're lighter than the 356M. Um, it comes in at just £28, which I mean is flagship standard for most companies, but for GAN is lower than a lot of their cubes. Certainly lower than the XS, X and XV2. And right in the middle of the two GAN 356Ms. But that brings me on to my point. It's very, very similar to the GAN 356M. In fact, I reckon it's the same. The same design. Maybe slightly different factory setup, but certainly the same design. So, if we look here, same piece design. Don't, it's very, yeah. They've put these things in the 356M that they haven't put in there, but I don't think that changes the design at all. So, for all intents and purposes, the design is the exact same. The only difference is that the 354 is obviously 2mm smaller. So, if I'm going to just put two pieces from the 354 inside the 356M, it performs just like an ordinary speed cube, just with a weird few pieces that are the wrong size. In fact, I it just feels like a GAN 356M. You hardly even notice the fact that it's got two pieces that are slightly smaller. Where does the GAN 354M V2 come in? in the cube market well if you want a 54 millimeter cube and you don't care about the price this is the best cube to get it is the best three 54 millimeter cube on the market almost certainly it's certainly better than the Guon V2M in my opinion and certainly better than the GAN 354M in my opinion as well it has everything you'd expect in a 3x3 nice and fast nice and smooth and just to prove my point about these two cubes being basically the same, I've made two new cubes. One of them, this one here, has 354V2M edges and 356M corners, and the other one has 354V2M corners and 356M edges. It performs exactly, pretty much, exactly like any ordinary speed cube would pretty nicely which does prove my point that they are essentially the same cube so if you want a 54 millimeter cube get 354 v2m and if you like GAN cubes and want to get a nice 56 millimeter cube then get the 356M. There is no difference between the two cubes in their design, the only difference is the size. And I'm not going to do any of the main thing in this video be, um, because I'm not using the 354M. Uh, if I had to use a 54 millimeter cube of course I'd use it but I don't, I'm using a 56 millimeter. So I'll do a quick average of 5 on this cube, remember that I'm doing cross on bottom which is really weird for me and I'm in a horrible position and it's a 54mm cube and I have nice big hands that aren't 
good for 54 millimeter cubes. Okay, yeah, 13.63 average, which is absolutely horrendous, like, yeah, absolutely horrendous, but, yeah, if you want a 54mm cube, get it, I don't have any reason to want a 54mm cube, I don't think I'll be using it even for OH, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will.